Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome back to Paper Mario, I believe, if I click the screen properly. There we go. Welcome back, everybody. Good evening, party people, to everybody out there. No matter what your walk of life is, no matter how tall you are, no matter your everything, color of the skin, sexuality, it doesn't matter. Because this party is for everybody. Or at least that's, that's the way it's supposed to be. If there's a bouncer at the door giving you shit, Call me over. We'll let you in. We last left off, starting off this beautiful, beautiful game. I love this game so much, and I can't say it enough. Seriously, though. Um, we're in Hookdale's Castle. I've got Coops. He's snivelly. It's great. There is a lively conversation going on from previously uh, on the cocktail stream. Oh, I can't go that way. That's fine. Um, we made a cocktail. It's supposed to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Doesn't really work that way. But, you know, sometimes you try. Sometimes you fail. Sometimes you fall somewhere in between, and everyone thinks you're cool for it. It's great. And I get to suck my cocktail through cinnamon sticks. You are not. I am, and it's beautiful. It's actually pretty good. Oh, it's mellowed out a little bit. It's great. Also, Domstar in chat is talking about the fanfic being created about him, and Anna is offering her side and opinions on it. I which, didn't know such thing. Is that not what you're doing? No, I was commenting on life. We're talking about it's it's the We had a very <laughs> nice conversation. You stay out of it, Kevin. I will stay out of it. <gasps> We're all talking oh about, God. we're being very open about our sexuality here, and that's a good thing. Anna's straight, Dom's straight, I'm pansexual, what are you? Let's celebrate together. I gotta get me one of those flags. Honestly, I've been thinking about that recently. Like, I kind of want to get me a pride flag. Wait, I don't, do you want a pansexual one? Or I don't know, flag? I don't know. I'm deciding on which one I want. It's cool. I'm not usually open to stuff like that, but honestly, it's, you know, it's, it's that time of the year again. And uh, I only recently determined that from- I only recently came to that realization, so... Congratulations to, to us, to everybody. That's what it's all about. It's all about just being comfortable in one skin. Oh shoot! Talking mushrooms. I did that wrong. Actually, it kind of worked. Huh. Let's go into the castle then. It's great. Hello, Bones! Oh, right, you guys don't come to life yet. I don't remember. Uh, I don't exactly remember. So... We last saw us playing this game, right? That's where we last saw it. And since then, I have listened to pretty much the entire soundtrack at least two or three times um, because I love this game. And I found that there's a there's a website that I can go to that will allow you to download entire soundtracks of video games. And I have absolutely no shame when I say I am happy to do so. I want to. Make it the pan flag with your Twitch emblem on it. Oh, that'd be cool. It'd be a little too... I don't know. I feel like it'd be a little too self-absorbed. I don't like to be so... I don't like to be so... What's the term for it? I don't know. All about me, I guess. I don't know. We'll think about it. I don't want to get it customly done. I don't want to spend too much money on it. That would be annoying, I think. I don't know. I think there's a certain merit to it. There's a certain merit to get... Like, like for example, things that are custom done, they look really, really cool. But they cost money. And I don't know if I want to spend the money on that. Because technically speaking, I would be spending the money on myself. And I'm not usually the kind of person who likes to spend money on themselves. I'd much rather spend it on other people. I would probably buy one of my brothers a flag like that with an emblem on it. But I probably wouldn't buy it for myself. And if there's a straight flag out there, I guess I could buy one for Anna. Probably. Yeah. Anna, you want a flag? No, give me a rainbow. She wants a rainbow. I'm an ally. Love that. We love to hear that. Also, I hope I'm not indexing too much in the whole thing. The whole sexuality thing is not like a like a core focus of my life. It's just kind of like I feel like for most people, not that I can speak on behalf of most people, it's just kind of like a thing. It doesn't need to be anybody else's business. It's just like it's my business. And unless somebody asks about it, I don't need to like shove it in their face. But for the sake of being able to create an environment where people are also comfortable to be able to share that part about themselves, if they so feel like it, that's why we share it. That's why these streams are always masked. Uh, whoa, words. Always marked. Ask me anything. The AMA. Because honestly, I don't. So far, I have yet to find a question asked to me that is so out there that I wouldn't be able to find an answer for it. That or like entertain it a little bit. What do you say, dear? Am I a stalker? <laughs> no, I'm not you a stalker. I asked for a random stalker. Uh, it's a, a random question. Am I a stalker? No, I didn't ask for a random stalker. You're crazy. <laughs> Dom says spending things on yourself is worth it. It can be. I like, I am more apt to spend things on myself when it is a consumable item or something that I'm going to use for some sort of utility. There must be like, I mean, come to think of it, right? If you got the flag with the emblem on it, there would be a utility to it. It's decorational. It looks pretty cool. 
And so in that case, there is some utility to it. But like, and this, this is this is me totally speaking out of hypotheticals here. I don't know exactly how much something like that would cost. Dude, if it costs 20 bucks to make something like that, there's literally no reason not to get it done. Honestly, because it's so damn cheap. But if it's something on the aid, on the aid, like the end of like 80 to 100 dollars, then I'd start to have questions about whether or not like I really, really want it. Dom asks, "Have they? Has he shown me his flag? I don't believe so. I haven't seen your flag. What is your flag? Do you have a flag? I actually have. I don't have a flag, but I have a tapestry uh, in my room." That was uh, given to me by one of my 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 big my big brother in my fraternity. Um, I don't actually have a big brother by blood, that is. Um, but oh dear, please don't, please don't. Whatever you do, don't do it. Oh my god, that's not that would not be good. All right, well we blocked that. It's not a pride flag. That doesn't have to be a pride flag. Is it like an American flag or something like that, or maybe something reminiscent of your heritage. I could get an Italian flag if I wanted to, but yeah, I, don't, I don't really want to. I, I have no need for such things. I need. I need more flower points, and I don't have flower points. So instead, what I'll do is I'll whack these dudes. I'll give them a big old wacky whack. Oh, actually, I probably should have used my my super special power. Yeah, I could probably do that. But in the meantime, let's give a mushroom to Mario. He needs it. Mario, boy, and now you gotta get some heals over there, my guy. Oh dear, that didn't work. Oh, nice. Can I dodge? Can I, like, counterattack? I can't counterattack these guys, it seems. That was the perfect amount of damage. Dom's got a Chicago flag that, when you were a Mormon, did the church mission thing and had all the people that you taught or thought about made an impression in the, to your sign. That's cool. I love that, actually. I have something very similar. It's not in my personal possession, but in my fraternity, I was given a brick, and I signed the brick. And every single person I gave the brick to got to sign the brick. So, pretty much the same thing, except, you know, made of, like, ceramic and stone. Very, very similar. All right, let's do the sweet treat. I need myself some... I need some heals over here. All right. Get the good stuff. Oh, I need to... Oh, that's what I need to click. I recall now. That's the button I need to click. Don't get all the bad stuff. Only the... No! Not the bad stuff. Only the good stuff. Only the good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, all right. Give them those flower points, too. What an interesting little mini game. It's 9 by 12 feet long, if Dom remembers correctly. Honestly, I like that. My tapestry, I'll have to- I'll try to send a picture of it later if I recall. But literally... Um, it's the entire size of my wall. It, it takes up an entire wall in my bedroom. And it's it's awesome. I, I think, for the most part, for the most part, I don't think, like, my my big did too much for me. He's an awesome guy. Awesome guy named Camden. But I didn't see him around too often. But, like, one time, he's like, you should come by the house. And I, and I was like, all right, sure. So I came by the house, and he was just like, by the way, here's your present from me to you, because I'm your big and you're my little. So here you go. And he's like, it was during the summer months, so he was like, I hope it keeps you warm in the summer. And I was like, thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's super cool. I think I've always... I've always hung it above my bed. I've always kept it somewhere in my bedroom, uh, in, in a very easily identifiable place. And I'm sure one day I'll probably put it up in, like, an actual wall, in an actual house one day. Maybe. It's a really, it's really, really cool looking. I'll try to post a picture of it later if I remember. Hopefully I do. It's very cool. It's got my fraternity's crest on it, the fraternity colors, as well as has my, um, it's got my name on it, embroidered on it. It's very cool. Bingo time, baby! Bingo time! My star power is full. Excellent, but I didn't want star power. I want it. Actually, I should do. I should do star power. Eventually. I'll do that eventually. That's what I'll do. Because if I do the star power... Oh, well, I have to jumble the dude. Actually, can I hit you? Mm, I'm gonna do star power. Because if I do the star power, I can heal myself from some more, which is advantageous because I have the ability to do so. And it will set me up for later. Get all the things. In a way, I kind of hate this mission, or this little mini game here, but I also kind of like it too. It's like, it's unique. And if you can aim properly, it can be very, very helpful in the long run, but I'm not that good at aiming these things. I have very bad aim, go figure. Um, I was never a very sportsy kind of person, that's, that's for damn sure. Um, and just in general, my aim is poor. Um, take that what you will, but that applies to all walks of my life. One time, this is the story that I, when I used to tell people I have a very bad aim, the story that I would give is one time I hit a baseball bat and it went bad. I hit a baseball with a bat and it literally went straight up. 
I was attempting to hit forward, but it went up. But, like, according to physics, like, that's totally possible. Like, there's nothing totally unusual about that. So I didn't really portray my point very well. But, eh. That's my story. That's what I have. I played baseball for a little while with my uh, younger brother, but I, I, I wasn't really into it, ultimately. Uh, oh, oh no. I think this may be my father. These, these bones, they remind me of my father. There's, there's no doubt about it. It's my father! <laughs> um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Least his... Ugh. Bones are... So... What should I do? Sh should I read it? Yeah. Yeah, you should read that. You should read that shit. Um... Okay. I... I can do this. I'll... I'll read it. <laughs> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck. Could go no further. So, in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with Kerr and end with Ikid. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kind of nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oops. Um, yeah, my, I, uh... I guess this is my father after all. <laughs> but if this is my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad! Let's go check it out. Dom says, I didn't get good at sports till he was out of high school and stopped growing. I like... I'm still not good at sports. Honestly. And I don't really feel like going back to it, honestly. I'm not a big sports guy. And that's mostly because I haven't had a really good experience with sports. <laughs> More on that later. <laughs> you clearly don't value your lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You'll go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. Blag. Bones, I say. Bones. Well, can we can we try not to? Um, what are they doing? Ouch! It's no use, Mario. They're all over me, man. What should we do? Um, run. Bounce. Hit hammers. 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 Hammer the hammer yeah of, of my experiences playing sports i was on a team that got way too competitive too fast for me when i was like in elementary school and also after playing the game later on in my college years my teammates were actually kind of assholes they were like you didn't hit the ball right and you're not playing the game right and like do you even know how to play soccer and i was like dude i'm just trying to have fun here so could you lay off and they were like no nah, man if you're gonna play in this game you're gonna play it right and i was like all right fine and so i did not come back to playing the game again i decided it was not worth my time so, oh, that's not working. That's unfortunate. Well, how about the power shell? That'll do it, that'll do it, that'll do it. Oh, I forgot, you can only do it three times. I had forgotten. Oh, dear. Yeah. Dom's like, you gotta find people who wanna play it for fun. I never knew anybody like that. No people that I know of. I think Anna's one of those people, but she plays basketball, and I'm not a very good basketball player, but, like, it's by that point... It doesn't really matter whether you're a good player or not. It's just a matter of whether you're having fun or not. But, like, there's no conveniently placed basketball courts around here. For the most part. And I'm also not that... We don't have a basketball as well. If I had a basketball, we could probably do those too. Actually, that's a good idea. The weather's getting warmer. It's probably a good idea. I like that idea. This is not gonna work for me. I need to use my special ability, so I'm going to... Appeal to the audience! Hi! I'm appealing to the audience! Love me! <laughs> they love me. It's great. Let's heal ourselves. I don't remember how much health this guy has, and honestly, it doesn't matter to me. If I were the kind of boy that I was previously, I'd probably worry about getting all of the titles on all of the enemies and all of the bosses, but I'm not... I'm not that attached to it. 
Whoops. Oh, maybe get one? No, nope, just kidding. It's okay. Honestly, I don't really mind that much. I just want to get these battles and keep going. I just want to experience this game. The entire thing. If you find the Mormon missionaries, they normally play basketball if you ask them to. Seriously? Awesome! I gotta find me some more Mormon missionaries. Hey, technically, weren't you a missionary and practiced Mormonism once upon a time? Are you a Mormon missionary? Will you play basketball with me? That could be fun. That would be on the docket. On the docket, the things to do. The only reason that Dom even was a Mormon was because you were... Uh, or the, it's the only reason I was even remotely decent. Because... Because of the Mormon missionaries. Honestly, not anymore. Yes, not anymore. Yeah, I recall that. I misspoke the first time. There... Yeah, if I had people who actually, like, played the game and, like, played it well... Or, like, played it with the intent of just having fun, I'd probably be a little more attractive to me to play. But, like, I think I only ever really has that experience with video games. Oh, but actually, actually, I take that back. I take that back. I'm thinking about it more now, and I realize I actually did have quite a fun time playing pretty much any of the sports that we played in high school, which included, there was a, I think pickleball was the one that I had the most fun with. I also really, really like, um, oh, what's it? Badminton. I think badminton is one of my favorite sports, um, because, I don't know, it's fun. It's fun to hit things like that. It's so easy to hit, like tennis. I also like playing tennis with my brother every once in a while. My youngest, my youngest brother. My youngest, my youngest brother. Make it seem like he's my son or something. That's not working. Pickleball is so fun. Dude, seriously. But they play from fun the most of the time. The missionaries, that is. Pickleball is a very fun sport. I, like, had not heard of it until I got to, um, until I got to college. Um, no, 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 until I got to high school. I was getting that confused with squash. I didn't know about, um, pickleball until high school. Uh, to which it was one of the things that, like, taught everybody to play. You would play it every, at least once every single year. And then I learned about squash when I got to college. Drexel University, my alma mater, is apparently well known for their squash team. Which, if I had to describe squash to anybody, it's glorified wall ball. And it's, it's, it seems like it'd be fun. I never actually had the opportunity to play it. But, like, it looks like it'd be a good time. Essentially, imagine yourself in a room that has three walls. Uh, two of those walls, the ones that are... Uh, parallel to your line of sight are the smaller walls, and there's a longer wall that is right in front of you. You are next to a person who is also has a paddle on them, and essentially you're just whacking the ball against the wall, trying to get out. Think of it kind of like tennis, except the ball bounces, and instead of being like on opposite sides of the course facing each other, you're on opposite sides of the course next to each other. And that's what squash is. And it's... It looks like it would be fun. I mean, when I worked at, uh, my first job was technically the, um, my first job officially was at the, um, at the Welcome Center at my school's gym. And so part of that job was to be able to bring people around and do tours and stuff. And sometimes when I was on the tours, all I would really get is the, just the, the grunts of people hitting a ball against the wall. And honestly, like, if I, I feel like if I ever actually decided to play, it would probably be pretty fun. But I was never so inclined to do so, honestly. I just never got around to it. And honestly, I don't really care that much. But, alas. I need to hit things. Hit things there. That's what I need to do. There we go. And then I hit this. And then I walk around. You want to get out? Yeah, like, so, if you imagine... If you imagine the court where you are... You are next to the person who's on the other side of the court as you, and you're both hitting balls against the wall. The, there's like a square that you have to hit within, just like in tennis or just like in ping pong. And if you, if the other person misses an in shot, that's a point for you. And if it goes out of bounds, then it's a win. It's a, it's a point for the other guy. That's essentially how that works. I hope I explained that okay. Uh, but that's the general idea of squash. Oh shit. Well, that didn't go so well. Oh well. I'll try that again. I want to get all the good stuff up there. I gotta get the cricket badge. In Hooktail Castle, in order to make the, uh, the enemy, the enemy not so happy, we have to make a cricket sound effect, which I remember when I played this game originally, I didn't understand. I was like, there is no, I don't understand why the, um, the thing is the way that it is. Like, I don't know why I would need this badge. And then I had a really hard time fighting the boss. And, you know, naturally, the consequence of that is the fact that you know, I'm at a loss for words here. I don't know. I'm, I've completely lost my focus. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? 
Oh yeah, I fought Hooktail without the badge on, and it was incredibly difficult because, like, you know, you didn't have the right badge on. And so I was like, oh my god, is this the way it has to be? And then I think this was one of those things that I actually looked up on a guide when I was younger because I was like, I don't know why I can't beat this boss. There must be something that I'm missing. And lo and behold, it was because I was dumb and wasn't reading the text on the screen like you're supposed to. But alas, cancel key. Sounds like Foursquare. Kinda. I, are we talking about the same four square? Four square to me is like there's four squares on a ch on chalk, and then you bounce the ball, you bounce a kickball, and you try to make the other person miss it. Actually, I haven't played four square in a while. I don't remember the rules for four square. I do remember playing it on the blacktop, like back in middle school, but I don't remember playing it that often, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. Saved. Saved to continue on to the Hooktail Castle, baby. It's all puzzles. I may have to think about this for a moment, but also potentially not. Maybe. Um, I can do that, right? There we go. That's fine. Go up, I say. Up! Up. Dom hasn't played often the four square either. It's okay. I feel like it... Unless there was a four square, like, decal on your school's, like, playground or, um, like, basketball court, then I wouldn't suppose that there would be a an easy way for you to play it often because usually at least the way i did it was somebody would have to draw it on the ground with chalk and that would imply that you need that you actually need like a uh, chalk uh, which nobody really had at school very often or you require um oh a non-rainy day when you did have the chalk so you need the chalk but alas all right that's not working for me i don't need that box i don't need that box anybody down here no that's fine i'll walk through this door instead I played a total of maybe a dozen times in middle school. Honestly, I feel like that was about the same to me. I played it enough to understand what... I played it enough to understand what, um... Let's see, what Foursquare is? But not enough... Not enough to remember exactly how to play it nowadays. I don't quite recall. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh my god, I can't believe I got it. Your school had chalk? No. You'd have to bring in the chalk yourself. You kind of have to sneak it into your pocket and then bring it to gym class. Um, if that ever worked. Which it didn't really work, to be honest. It never really happened. Oh, shoot. I made a boo-boo. Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. I'm trying to keep the conversation going, and for some reason, the, the folks upstairs are partying a little bit. They were, like, bounce- they were actively bouncing on the floor or something like that. I don't know if that got caught on the capture or not. That's kind of funny. Maybe they're trying to distract me. Maybe. I shan't be dissuaded. Instead, what I would do is what any reasonable person would do, and lock out their sound. And I missed them again. No, I'm a dummy. I'm so distracted. Oh, who's got cans in the audience? No, don't throw cans. Don't throw cans in the audience. No, no throw cans in the audience. Get that can out of here, you dumbass. Don't be throwing cans at me. That's unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. Stylish, stylish indeed. But no, nobody at my school ever dropped it. My school didn't have chalk. My, I was never in a position to bring chalk myself. I don't know why I never did. Like, I owned chalk. My house always had, always had chalk. But I, like, never brought it to school with me. Knowing that if I did bring it to school with me, I could probably draw on the school's blacktop. But I never did. Then again, actually, that's an interesting point too, now that I think about it. I was distinguishing the fact that in middle school, you had to wait until gym class because there was no recess in middle school for me. There was no recess. I only had recess in elementary school, which I don't know. Does anybody, did anybody else have that? And I always found that very, very weird. I realized after elementary school happened, after elementary school, there was, there was no recess, which was like kind of disappointing, honestly. Like the fact that you couldn't go outside aside from in gym class and only, even that it was sometimes only sometimes you would be able to go outside the gym class but yeah. welcome back you bought me something wait what'd you buy and i bought something for me i'm actually quite excited don had recess until high school dude lucky nah i never had recess in middle school they took it away from me, which is annoying because you're supposed to get out and play an hour a day and they didn't let me. Oh, and I bought me, oh. Oh. Anna brought me, Anna bought me nail polish in the color of the pansexual flag. The blue, the pink, and the yellow. Thank you, dearest. How much did that cost you? I'm curious of the cost. 
Less than ten dollars? All right, all right. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I do complain sometimes. Oh wait, wait, wait. Go on the boat. Oh, nice. Got it. Oh goodness. But it was just fifteen minutes to walk around for Dom's recess, so it was just kind of socializing. You should blow the screen up. Let's see him again. Oh, let's take a look. Yeah, these are our things. These are our thingies. This is our flag. I don't remember what order it's in. I don't actually have one in front of me to be able to reference, but it's definitely some order of yellow, pink, and blue. I haven't painted my nails yet, but Anna just bought them for me, so I'm looking forward to it. What brand is this? Insta Dree, which I'm supposing is supposed to say dry, uh, but it doesn't because that's not how you spell dry. Sinful dry. Colors, bold color, as well as Sinful Colors, bold color. I love that blue though. Honestly, so technically, if I do it like this, it'd be the pansexual flag. If I did it like this, it would be my alma mater's colors. If I did it like this, then I guess it's the traditional boy, girl, whatever, and... No, that's not baby gold. blue. Oh, it's not baby blue, but it's my blue. It's our favorite colors. You and my favorite colors. Right? Pink? No, mine's pastel pink. Well, you know what? I tried. I tried. I tried. Dope. Dope indeed. Oh, it's time for my next curse. Now, I did a little bit of audio engineering to make sure this microphone sounds we sounds good. Uh, a little little tidbit of information. I originally set up the microphone to sound, in my opinion, favorable, and then all the settings got wiped, so I redid them the other day. Let's see how this goes when I scream into a microphone. No, not from there. Hey, guests! It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time! Huh? You heard me? Wow! Wait a sec. You can hear my voice. You must be some legendary hero or something. Yeah, I am. Or not. Uh, to be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. <laughs> it's a it's a matter of physics, actually, you dumbass. But it sure is fun singing people with the whole that whole legendary hero bits. It sounds exactly the same. Perfect. The user experience has not changed in a significant way, but I'm very particular about saying sometimes, so. Hey, seriously, folks. I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. Pretty please? I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Oh, I forgot about that. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that? Really? Wait in a box and curse folks? A real slime ball. That's who. Not me. I would never. But I'm not a real slime ball. I'm a fake slime ball. Like from Minecraft. Just kidding, they're real slime balls. Because they come from slimes. And I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. I'm a man in a black box! Or at least you think I am. Look, if you don't help me out, if you help me out, I can help you out too. You know, a little, uh, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Except in the reverse order. Where I scratch your back, you scratch mine. You know? Of course, you don't have to, if you really don't want to. Like, finding a black key is hard. Like, downright impossible. So, make sure when you get the key, you come back. Huh, <laughs> don't worry, babe. It's just my dick in a box. That's all it is. A magical curse blessing. Not a curse, a blessing. Nice. Hey, look, a black key. But wait, there's more. Many dicks in many boxes protruding from the ground. I don't think that's uh, Mario, uh, look at that. The ceiling's caving in. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run. Run. Oh, that's the wrong direction. It's okay, we'll make it out, okay? We'll make it out just fine, guys. You, me, and the world, coops. That's what it all is. Oh, there's a little explodey thing there for when I get the, uh, uh, the bob -omb guy. Which I don't yet have. This is easy. Honestly, when they're coming from the ceiling like that, it's actually not that scary. Come a little closer. Come closer, little mama. Let me whisper in here. I'm gonna tell you. Uh... Honestly, I wonder if those spikes had something nice to say to me. But we'll never know. Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Shake it off. Woo! Okay. Well, we got the key. So let's go open that spooky chest. Woo! Oh. You mean the one who screamed at me about about it, the fact that there's there's a dick in there? I don't know. Hey there, boy. I'm so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. 
Okay. <laughs> fools! I'm the fool. You're the fool. We're all fools. What if rocks are soft, but as a defense mechanism, they harden up right before you touch them? Honestly, valid point. That's probably how all solids work on a physical level. What? <laughs> Only the most idiotic pudding brain told would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow and painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly boogly boo. All your deaths are goo. Now, I guess, it would be a way to rhyme it. <laughs> now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you before. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold. <laughs> you want a curse? Who curses like me? No one. Except for my brothers. My many, many put twin brothers who exist in every other black chest out there in the universe. Let's ignore that for now. Now I'll show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on. Press and hold. Arr. Press and hold. Arr. Now. Do it. You have to. Press and hold the ear button. Wow, this is terrifying. <laughs> look at, just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. Eat a sandwich, skinny. <laughs> Do you understand what this curse means for you? Yes. Then farewell, you dumbbells. <laughs> I don't know why this guy thinks that I'm suffering with this. It's so easy. Do the roar. Do the roar? Roar XD JK Rafflecopter. That's my roar. Oh, but now I can go all thin like. Wow, that really lags. Look at that. That lags a little bit. Wow, we're down to 40 FPS right now. Oof. I have to optimize on that. Wow, that totally killed everything. Oop. <laughs> to the roar, lol's JK Rafflecopter, Wafflecopter. <laughs> Lafflecopter. Lafflecopter, Whopper, Whopper, Copter, Lopter, Lopter, Ropper. Wopter, Copter. Cop, Coffle, Wopter? Copple, Wafter. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I, I dig that. No, Anna says it doesn't make sense. Well, I want to believe it makes sense. Maybe one day. Perhaps one day. We got the cricket sound. Now, with the power of crickets, I can beat up a dragon, I guess. That's the that's the implication here. Tis the implication. Badges, power bounce, power bounce, FX, power. Uh, I have three B poo points. <laughs> boo poo, I got three boo poo points. I'm gonna use three boo boo points to put a power bounce. Easy. All right, and I don't think there's any gear that I can equip to my party members, right? I have the Shine Sprite, so I should be able to upgrade one of my party members at some point. But, uh, not now. Not yet. Alas. All right. We'll save that. Lest we break things again. It looks like we're having a little bit of stream drops over here, so my apologies to everybody on the other side. But we are recording, so hopefully things aren't as bad as they seem to be. All right. Cricket. Uh, do the thing. Do the thing. There we go. Thank you for doing the thing. We appreciate the doing the thing. Nice. Alright, and I think if I come up here, there was a key that I got, right? Did I get the key? It's locked. I cannot open it. It's locked. I cannot open it. I don't remember where exactly where to go from here, so I'm gonna just walk around and see what else there is to do. Yeah, next time I think I'm gonna see about changing the emulation a little bit. To see. Actually, actually, I can change up the emulation right now. Hold for a second. I don't know if this is gonna break things or not, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try lowering the resolution just a little bit. It's gonna have to redo all the shaders and stuff that I have on it, but we're gonna give it a try. Give it a try. We'll do, we'll change this. We'll change the anti-aliasing. We'll take all the anti-aliasing off. Okay, compiling the shaders. We're recompiling and everything froze. Okay. <laughs> the stream froze for a second. That was kind of funny for a hot second. Um, so yeah, what I am using, I'm using Dolphin, for those who are familiar, it's an emulator for GameCube, and I believe Wii games as well, and I have some enhanced shaders and stuff that are installed to be able to, you know, make things look all fancy-fancy. I think they are the Uber shader shaders, so like, 
This might work out in our favor. It very well might not work out in our favor. It is taking a hot minute, probably because my computer is overloaded. So while that's doing that, let's chat for a second. How's everybody's day so far? I, I was commenting before about how I think my neighbors must be having a party or something like that because they're still stomping on the floor upstairs. And I wonder if it's because I'm being too loud down here. It would be the first noise complaint that I get. Also, Dolphin has crashed. So we're gonna turn it back on and make things better. Please excuse me while I relaunch Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Doer. It's okay, it's fine. Everything will be over before you know it. And are you cooking something? Yes. Oh, okay, I smell something burning, that's why I ask. I'm gonna eat a pretzel. <laughs> Maybe they're a bit drunk. Honestly, they were roaring like absolute maniacs before, so I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they were just a, just a tad, just a tad bit drunk. And honestly, what's, What's not to be drunk about? It's a Wednesday night, my dudes. I've got alcohol, too. I think that's exactly how that works. Honestly, they could come down and knock on the door and be like, Hey, can we have a cocktail, too? And I'd be like, Yeah, sure, let's do it. But uh, I don't know if they will. The cowards. All right. I don't remember where the last time I saved was. But we'll make it look okay. Loading, loading, loading. Loading okay. We'll go back on here. Next one. Honestly... I turned up the anti-aliasing because I think it really mattered, and honestly, it really doesn't. Everything looks kind of the same. I have everything scaled up to, I think, three times the natural resolution, which I think was standard. Now it's 1080. I don't know, does that, does that help a little bit? It helped a tad. I'll do a bit more debugging next time. Or um, sometime between... Actually, I might be able to take uh, next week, being that there's no planned streams. To figure some things out. Alright, I gotta figure things out. I gotta remember how things work. Because I don't remember. Honestly, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll play around a bit and see if I can figure out these puzzles. I feel like they weren't that difficult, but honestly, I can't remember. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have the power to turn paper thin now. I should go back to other areas of the castle so as to attempt to take advantage of this. Like, for example, that castle key right there, and I can slide right through these bars. Easy. Easy mode, easy mode. Alright, come here. Nice. Gotta love that. Was there a case where... I, I don't remember whether there was a case where if you keep on walking, you will find another badge. I thought I recall there being something like that in this castle. Where, like, if you go beyond, like, go into one of, like, the prison gates and you just keep on walking, you'll find something else, like, beyond the screen. I don't remember. I'm gonna try it every single time now because I have an ink, I have an intuition. I have, I have an inkling of thought. Some knowledge, if you will, that I think may help us out here. But in the meantime, shall we continue? Continue up along the castle? We'll get that hooktail. We'll make that hooktail, uh, regret that he was ever born. Yeah, we're gonna make the dragon cry. You know, I question whether or not dragons even have two books. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Do dragons cry? And if dragons do cry, has there been a book written about it? Because I think Dragons Don't Cry, or Dragons Do Cry, would be an excellent title to a book. And I wonder what kind of book it would be. Hypothetically speaking, if we collectively wrote a book called Dragons Don't Cry, or Dragons Do Cry, it could very well be like an autobiographical thing, because I went to Drexel. Drexel's mascot is a dragon. It's possible. They do an Aragon, if I remember. Oh, Aragon. I never read that book series. I saw the size of that book, and I was like, I am not touching that. And did you ever read Aragon? Um, I got stuck by, like, the uh, 26th page. I was really bored. Interesting. Oh! The completionist Anna? Yeah, no, Way back when? Way back when in the Elder Years? Number of years? There's the star piece I was thinking about. If I walk out the door, everything becomes okay. Or rather, if I jump out the window, I will not fall to my death. It's not how this works in this case. Uh, but if I jump out the window, I can get a star piece on the other side. Just like this. Nice. And there's nothing else over here. There's no off-screen or anything. I think the tears heal wounds, if you remember correctly, says Dom. Well, I would imagine a dragon tear would probably cure wounds. At least cure light wounds, perhaps. What was that tear? Oh, she says nothing. 
Quick, somebody remind Playblack. Tell me what she said. I have to know. Somebody turn back time. Oh, shoot. Have I mentioned before how much I love the the absolute bop that the game's on the audio is? Especially the battle theme. God, I love it so much. It is such a bop. Such a bop. The first book is the slowest book of all of them. Well, if I ever gave myself the opportunity to read through the first book, maybe I should audiobook it. There's nothing wrong with audiobooks. Books. Except for the fact that they cost an obscene amount of money, in my humble opinion. Ugh. I swear. I like... I tried out Audible for a little bit. Uh, I managed to listen to a book called Thinking, Thinking Fast and Slow about, like, basically, like, how the brain works in a certain plane of thinking, in a certain realm of philosophy, and I kind of liked it. Um, I don't remember much from it, but it was basically the idea is that there's a fast part of your brain and a small part, of, and a slow part of your brain. One thinks quickly, naturally, for, like, um, like intuitive problems and emotional things, and the other one um, thinks more logically in a slower fashion, like, for example, doing, like, math problems and stuff like that. Um, that was okay. An okay book. Uh, I don't remember much of it from it, so, like, technically speaking, I can't convey whether or not it was a good book or not because I'm not really I'm not really that good at remembering things in general when it comes to like broad spans of learned things. I just don't retain it very well. But I recall it being a rather enjoyable audiobook listen. I would listen to it while I ran. I would listen to it sometimes on my walks home from work. Um, but like honestly pretty much attempting to uh, to listen to any audiobook is like borderline impossible because like the Audible subscriptions, I think, are, like, really expensive, uh, from what I recall. And also, like, if you just want to buy a book in general, like, it's just, it's so expensive. I don't want to spend that kind of money. Um, unless, like, it really earned it. Like, if the, the book had, would have to have earned it from me first. But, maybe. Maybe sometime I'll read those books. If you read through the first book, all the other ones make up for it, and they go over all the other characters, too, and you get their perspectives, too. Well, if I recall about Aragon, the first book was Aragon. I'm pretty sure that was the name of the dragon. And I think the other ones were also names of dragons, I think, too, right? If I recall? I don't remember. Don't even ask me what the other books were named, but um, I want to say that they were named after Durgans, but I don't remember. If you hear his brother becomes a war general, Murtag has a few chapters. Arya gets a few, and then other, the, and then another general gives her perspective of things, and it ties things together so well. Is this a war book, technically? Is it about, like, people fighting with dragons? Because that sounds cool, actually. That sounds very, very cool. I was never much of a book reader back, back in my prime. Oh, yo, Miss Mouse. Uh-huh. Oh, my. This is handsome piece of cheese. I can't believe there are other thieves here beside me. How very strange. Hey, hey, um, who are you? Me? My name is Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a run-down place? Um, well, you see, um, we're here to be hotel and get the, um, crystal star. Uh, so, don't, don't think we'll let you get the crystal star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? Mm hmm. Didn't I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle? Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this Crystal Star first, so and I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your Crystal Star. What are you gonna do to me? Uh, hey, what's that supposed to be? Mwah! <laughs> I must say goodbye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met and already it's time to say farewell. Alas! Oh my, you're so bold. Is that... is that legal? Is it legal to kiss somebody without getting prior consent from them? Oh, I almost forgot! Let's dive the question. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you. Best hooktail, or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already, maybe not. If you're going to fight hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Let's take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. Bye, dude. 
I wonder what her story is, but it's an interesting one, full of romance. Coops, keep it in your pants, man. Come on. I got a shroom, and uh, I need this. Right here. It goes, oh, for the books. Uh, it goes Aragon, Eldest, Brissinger, and Last Inheritance. So there's a few dragons in it, but not a lot of dragons. Well, honestly, based off of the cover of the book, it looks like there's a lot of Durgans. But, uh, at least that would be my implication. That or maybe they're like the last of the dragons or something like that? I'm curious. I'm very curious indeed. But, like, like I'm curious in one way, but, like, not curious enough to go out and, like, buy the book. And it's mostly, like, it's got nothing against the book in general. I just, I'm not a very avid reader. I just, for some reason, like, I only recently, like, I got a book from my boss... Uh, by the way, it's my boss's birthday today. Happy birthday, boss. Um, but they, um, he got me a book a little while ago that he wanted me to read. And I think it's been sitting in my bag for about a month now. I really haven't touched it. Um, I actually, actually, I did touch it. I touched it last night. I read the first, uh, I've read the first couple, uh, like a prologue of it, uh, just the other day. Um, as I was going to sleep one night. Last night was very nice. I actually, I meditated for a little bit, which was nice. I have not done a nice meditation in a very long time. It's been a hot minute since I've taken a moment to, like, refocus, so to speak. Um, yeah, and then after I, I actually meditated for a little bit and almost fell asleep, but after I got up, I, uh, Anna came back in and woke me up, and I was like, well, I'm not ready to go to bed yet, so I decided to read a book, and it was good. It was nice. I don't remember the name of the book, but it's something to do with, I think, I think that the name of the book is 15 Tips for Conscious Leadership or something like that. The conscious leadership part I know is there, so like, that's definitely look up there. If you look up conscious leadership, the book will probably pop up. But other than that, I don't, I don't remember. It was good. It was a good book. It focuses more on war, says Dom, uh, Aragon in the other book series, uh, to the Empire and Galvatorix. Galvatorix. Whatever that is, that sounds awesome. I have no idea what a Galvatorix is, but it sounds cool. I hate being the leader of a group. Dom says? Oh! How so? How so indeed? I kinda like being- I kinda like being leader in a way. Ah, he's just the guy. Oh, Galvatorx is just a guy? That's okay. We're all just- we're all just guys when you think about it. Whether you're a guy, a girl, or otherwise, we're all just guys. We're all just guys and dudes and gals and whatever. And honestly, someone say that's a good thing. Um, I like- I kinda like- I like the whole leadership aspect of things. I'm okay with being a leader, but I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily a very good leader yet. Like, I like the idea of becoming a leader, and I feel like oftentimes when I'm in, like, like group projects and stuff like that, back in, like, college and whatnot, I would often take on, like, the, le the leadership role, in the sense that, like, nobody would really keep up with deadlines and stuff like that. You know, nobody really make things look nice before we turn them in. So I was kind of like, I kind of like, I don't want to say I directed people around, because I really didn't direct people around. Um, it was more kind of like just keeping tabs on people, and I was okay with that. I, I think, actually, it annoyed me more so, more often than not. Because, like, it's annoying when you're in a group of people, and you be elite, and you try to act as, like, the leadership figure, but, like, people don't want to listen to you. Uh, that's bothersome, and I understand that. But Don was saying how he got forced into the role for so long that he just kind of wants to be the guy that gets told what to do now. I feel that. I actually really feel that. Honestly, I'm okay with being the leader, but I would much rather just be told what to do. Like, like, give it to me straight. Tell me what you need me to do, and tell me when I need to get it done by, and I'd be a lot happier. And I don't know whether that's by personal choice, or it may very well be because of, like, you know, like, the school system. The way that the school system has raised me to be is, you get homework, you get it done by a certain day because the teacher told you to. Whether or not you're supposed to learn something here or there, you do it because the teacher done told you to. And if you don't get it done, you have a... There's a consequence to it. The consequence in school being bad grades or disciplinary action. And so, like, that's kind of like, I feel like, at least for those in America, that's the only folks that I can speak off of, is, like, that's just kind of what I was trained to do. And school in other parts of the world may work differently than that. If it does, I'm actually curious to hear about that because it sounds cool. And I'm very curious about that. I heard Germany has a different schooling type system, but I wouldn't really just be able to speak on it. I don't know much about it, but... 
Yeah, honestly, in that way, like, it's bothersome in a way, but I think if I had it my way, like, I'm okay with doing it, and I like the challenge of it all, but if I had it my way, I'd rather you just tell me what I need to do. Cause like, cause like, oftentimes, and this is, this is actually something that I deal with at work, honestly, I don't necessarily know what my priorities are every single day of the week or going into it. At any particular moment in time, I am unsure of what I need to be doing. Because oftentimes, I kind of have the choice to choose for myself. And like, that's a little stressful sometimes, it really is. But, you know... Oftentimes, and I talked this out with my boss today, and I wouldn't say that it's necessarily an issue. I would say that it's more of a level of personal growth that I'm going through right now. Like, at some point, I feel if I want to grow as a professional, like a professional engineer, professional firmware developer, that I need to be able to figure out, like, my own deadlines and figure out, like, what, like, how to, like, organize the tasks in terms of, like, broader company goals and stuff like that. And there's, like... I'm sure there's a benefit in it, but I guess, now that I think about it, it depends on what you're doing in life. Like, whatever your goals are in life at that point in time. Um, actually, I just... Hold on a second. I need to take a moment just to calm down for a second. I feel like my heart rate's getting really fast, and I'm thinking too fast. I just need to focus for a moment. So I'm just gonna take, like... I'm gonna take, like, ten seconds just to, like... Slow down for a moment, take a drink of water, stuff like that. Excuse me. Alright, I've organized my thoughts. So, what I was thinking about was, so a lot of the things that stress me out at work are not being able, not necessarily knowing what it is that I need to do at any particular moment of time. I've been getting a bit better at it because I ask more questions now. I'm a little more confrontational. It's, for example, it's very difficult to know what you're supposed to do if you don't ask. And one of the things that I, excuse me, the water is making me a little burpy, my apologies. One of the things that I sometimes struggle with is asking questions, asking enough questions. I think I'm a rather prideful person when it really comes down to it. Um, not all the time, but I, I try to be better at that every once in a while. Um, but like, I I'd say that I'm relatively prideful. And prideful folk, like myself, are not necessarily proud of the things that they don't know. It's tough for me to say I don't know the answer to a question. It feels almost like a sense of weakness for me. But I'm getting better at that. Because when you think about it, if you don't know something, and you don't know a way to look for the answer, by asking a question, you will more than likely find your answer faster. Which has a certain merit to it, I think. Although, you know, I think nowadays... And I, when I say nowadays, I mean like within the past like nine months or so since I started this job that I've been getting a lot better at asking questions and being open about the things that I don't know. But like, from a prideful perspective, it doesn't feel too good. Like it kind of doesn't feel very cool to admit that you don't necessarily know what you're talking about or that you don't know the answer to a question. But like, I think it's necessary to be able to grow. Because like, half the time, you will never know the answer to a question unless you know what question it is to ask. And that's something I think that I firmly believe in. It's that sometimes when you're working on things or when you're working towards some sort of goal, it's not about knowing the answer because the, if you were just given the answer, there's no context related to it. It's like, it's like Jeopardy. You know, or I guess the opposite of Jeopardy. You know what the answer is. I don't know, no, yeah, 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 you know what the answer is, but you don't know what the question is. It's basically Jeopardy. But, like, in that regard, you would learn so much more if you know what the question was as opposed to what the answer is. If I just told you, like, Chicago, there's no context related to that. Like, okay, yeah, I know Chicago is a, a city now, I guess, but there's no context around it. Like, I, I don't know any, like, funny tidbits of information about Chicago, but if I did... The insert question here is like, you know, like, I don't know, what's, I don't know, what's a city that starts with the letter CH? Chicago. Chicago is a city that starts with the letter CH. Easily. Um, but like, you know, there's more context that you get from the question if you, you know, if you're willing to ask it. And that's something that I think I've learned a lot about in the last couple, I don't know, months or so. 
like nowadays, I feel like, I keep saying nowadays, I don't mean to say like nowadays as if like anything has really changed, but like, I would say more often than not, in more recent days and months, I will openly say like, yeah, I literally have no idea how to answer this question that you just set forth for me, but I'm gonna look into it. And so instead of saying, I don't know, I don't care, it's I don't know, but I wanna find out. And so in that regard, I kind of had this personal motivation to be able to go out and seek the answers to questions. Because uh, the way that it was explained to me is like, if you have like a personal motivation, like I feel like if you want to do something, you're more like, you're more likely to go out and actually find the answer for it. Like, like if somebody told me I need you to give me the answer to this question, I'm less likely to have like a personal interest in it because somebody else asked me the question. And like, Somebody else asked me the question, I don't necessarily care about it. But like, you know, if I ask myself the question, it could be better. Also, I think I might die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I think I'm actually gonna die. Oh no. Oh my god, thank god I can't counter that. Ooh! I was so busy talking about philosophical topics and whatnot, I didn't realize that I'm going to die. Um, here. How about we heal ourselves? Actually... Let's heal Mario, because if Mario dies, everybody dies. That would not be that good. Um, also, Koops. Koops, my guy. Oh, interesting. You're not going to do anything. Don't die, lol. It's been a while since my last save point. Oh, I missed that. Okay. Um, oh, Koops has been knocking his back again. I... kind of want to run. This is, this is not good. This is not good. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. The, um... The smart leader knows when to stop. I know when to stop. And it's time to stop. Actually, if I walk past the- No, 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 no. I should heal myself first. Before I- Before I conquer that. Alright. Let's do a little- Let's do a little thing thing. Oh, I don't actually have that many items. Interesting. Well, I could certainly use some honey syrup. I can get more items later if I need it. Uh, let's see. What else do I need? Uh, where's my items? There we are. It's in the gear category. Mushroom? Use it on... Use it on Mario. Mario's the guy we need to heal here. I'm like at 66 star points too, so it's not like I'm close to a level or anything. Like, if you go up and level, you were completely heal, which could be advantageous, but... Die! Now that I've got first strike, I will end you. That's what I'll do. All right, well, now that that's taken care of, um... <laughs> die, criminal scum! Die? You only have three health? You might have more than three health. That's unfortunate. Well, if I power shell, I should be able to kill the both of you, right? Yeah! All right. Well, now that that's the... No! Why'd you do the sleepy thing? Oh, you shouldn't be doing the sleepy thing. Well, hopefully that doesn't kill Mario. Wake me up. Wake me up. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Coops, you're gonna die. You very well might die. Die, Coops. End it. End your miserable suffering. And now it's just Mario. And will I... Oh my god. Oh my god, you've awoken. Mario, you've awoken. Oh my god. This is... This is tough. Okay. So if I... Oh my god. <laughs> go. Go. I don't... Mm, I feel like an item will help here. I... I don't wanna... You know what? I have faith that this is gonna work. I'm gonna jump on their faces. Actually, I can multi-bounce and bring them to the ground, right? Nice. Oh, you did not. Oh god. Oh no! Ah! I should have gone. I was overconfident. I am often overconfident. All right, well, we can skip the game over screen. Let's continue. Let's continue into this madness. It's fine. We'll pick up right back where we left off. Easy. Sometimes we die. Sometimes we live. Sometimes we do a little bit in between. Should have save stated, didn't I? I thought I did. Where was I at? Oh, the last place I was at was back here. Hmm. I can still move on though, right? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Oh, no, no, no. I have to go up. Oh, well. 
Alas, I am not perfect. If we were perfect, there'd be nothing interesting in life. I think, do I have the key though? Did I save after the key? I do have the key, so I can just go up. Also, like, I should heal myself. But what was the next heal point? I don't remember. I thought there was an area to heal somewhere around here, but I don't remember where it was. I'm also really low on flower points, but I think, if I'm correct in saying those, those boxes only heal your HP, not your FP. But I don't remember. Oh, was I literally right up? Oh, here it is. Does this work? Oh, everything gets healed. Yeah, I totally should have. I totally should have done that. All right. Easy, easy, easy. All right, I'll get the star piece again. I'll continue onward. No problem. No problem. Just a small little setback. But on the journey to everywhere, you gotta go some places. I'll get the star piece, and then I should. Okie dokie. Let's continue ahead of time then. Oh, I have to go the other direction. Duh! What you have to do, Mario, is you're gonna jump through the windows and you're gonna walk on the windowsills. Now, I know it looks like a big drop from here, but trust me, it's not as bad as you think it is. Hammer. I'll take care of you the easy way. By striking first. And assuming that I am never safe. By assuming that I am never safe, no matter where I am or when I am, maybe I'll survive? Potentially. I'm not sure. Excellent. Oh, get the coins. Gotta get the coins. If I don't get the coins, I will not be able to save myself later. It's a tool that we'll be using later on. It's a secret tool. A special tool? I don't remember how the line from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse goes. I didn't watch a lot of that. Hi, dude. Whack. Hammer! Some would say that it is indeed hammer time. Make me up before you go, go. Nice. So apparently if I hit their head twice, they will fall to the ground prone. If I don't hit them twice, if I don't bounce on them twice, then they only just fall to the ground. I never actually realized that. This is new. This is new information for me. Ever watch Zoolander? I actually have no idea what Zoolander is about. I've never watched Zoolander. Inform me. Tell me more about Zoolander. I have absolutely no context on what that is. I, I think it's a television show, right? I, I would assume. Right? Oh yeah. Probably a television show. Just watch it. Just watch it? You know what? I probably will. Honestly, I have been on a total binge kick uh, recently. I have been binging a ton of shows and whatnot. I think I mentioned the other day that I binge watched... Oh, cool. Points well. I think I binge watched... I've caught up to the boys. I watched Infinity Train. I finished all of the Netflix series uh, Arcane. Oh, I have to go through this BS again. I totally should have saved. This is a lot. You'll love it. Zoolander is a movie. I should put that on my watch list. Where can I watch that? What streaming service is the right... Oh, whoa, okay. Everything froze. That's okay. It's fine. I don't know what just happened there, but uh, everything is fine now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it stars Ben Stiller as Zoolander and Owen Wilson is in it. Oh, excellent, <laughs> excellent actors. Wow, Owen Wilson. You mean that Lightning McQueen? And that one guy from that one Loki show? That was, that was cool for a moment, that show. Anybody else watch the, the Loki show? It was... It was okay. I feel like I wanted more out of it than I actually got. And, um... Eh, it was okay. Enjoyable, yeah. I would watch it again, totally. But, eh. It was alright. So I think what happened just there with the freezing and weird sound effects was I have a couple more things going on behind the scenes with, uh, dolphin running. And I have... There's one setting that allows for the music not to stutter as much. And I don't remember what it's called, but essentially what it allows for is it allows the music to change speed depending on what the current FPS is. And in addition to that... Oh, look at this! I didn't know there was a star piece down here. Oh, that was the star piece. Oh. Huh. Nice. Um, what was I saying? 
So that's why the music got weird. Also, I think because I am using my GPU for streaming and whatnot, if the GPU gets overloaded, it'll, it'll cause an error in Dolphin. Because I'm pretty sure I'm using an OpenGL graphical backend for to play this game. Um, honestly, I need a better GPU. I also need a better processor. This computer has room for upgrades. I went the wrong way. But uh, we'll get it. We'll get there later. Dom says that I can watch Zoolander for free on Pluto, apparently. Oh, that's the... Uh, I know Pluto. That's like the uh, the free television show channel, right? I think it's like, it's like free TV or something like that. That's essentially what Pluto attempts to, um, to solve there. I also have HBO Max and Netflix and Prime Video and Funimation and Hulu. So... If it's not on at least one of those many platforms, then I am shocked beyond belief because it should be on at least one of those. Gosh. Dom usually watches Clerks 2 on it. Clerks. Clerks 2. What is Clerks? I'm not familiar with that show either. There's like, I'll admit, I am the kind of per- I like, I don't watch a lot of TV. I go through phases where I either watch a lot of it or I watch a little bit of it. Currently, I'm in a watching TV phase. I have just realized that it is so much easier to work on a thumbnail or work on my embroidery or working on other things while I'm watching TV because I'm multitasking. Also, I just noticed there's a thing down here. Ah, look at that. Cool. Give me some of that. Uh, let's get rid of a point swap. Swaps your partner's HP and FP. That feels advantageous. I have a lot of mushrooms. Let's get rid of the fire flower. Way too many fire flowers. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, go back up. That's a, um, Clerks 2 is a Kevin Smith comedy. So it's raunchy and has a lot of sexual drug and racial jokes. I'll admit, I enjoy shows like that. And religious jokes too. I kind of like, I like what I would call offensive comedy. I don't like to make those jokes myself. However, I will laugh at them. I will laugh at race jokes. I will laugh at sexual jokes. I will laugh at raunchy jokes. Like, penis jokes? Hilarious. Black jokes? Hilarious. I won't make them myself. However, I will laugh at them. And like, I don't know. This brings up an interesting question. Like, if I find that stuff funny and laugh at them, I don't know, does that make me a bad person? I don't think it does. Like, I like to think of, I like to think of a song from a musical called Avenue Q of, let's see, it's, um, the song from Avenue Q is called Everyone's a Little Bit Racist, and it goes something like, everyone's a little bit racist sometimes, and it continues on like that in that style. Then again, that's also an adult show. They take, you know, they have their own take on it, and I'm sure not everybody's okay with it, but that's just, that, that's the way that it is. That's in the show. So that's that. But like, I don't know if making... Making jokes about it feels a little out of my wheelhouse. Like, I don't have... In my opinion, I don't really have a place to be make, making racial jokes. I just don't feel like it. It doesn't really feel cool for me. However, if somebody else is making them, I'd laugh. I definitely would. And mostly because, I don't know. I don't know what the internal feeling it is, but I find it funny sometimes. So long as it's not like... Hopefully hurting it. I hope it's not hurting anybody. If it is, then I guess I really have to reconsider it, but I guess everyone's a type of their opinions. Um, Dom says that Clerks 2 drops the N-word using a hard R, so just be aware. Thank you. To everybody who might be a little offended by that, now you know. I'm personally not offended by it. I wouldn't use it myself, but if somebody else did, then, well, I guess that's just kind of how it is. I was actually, once upon a time, when I worked for another job, there was one of my co-ops in college. This is an interesting story, and I... It was a rather uncomfortable experience. When I worked for one of my previous jobs, uh, and I was on my co-op, uh, I had this buddy that I worked with. He was another co-op, but he came from another school. And so, he and I really wouldn't... We, we just kind of chat a bit. We didn't work on the same things. We worked on completely different things. But... I thought we were pretty close. And we were pretty close, honestly. All things considered, we were rather close. But one day, he took out me and my other co-worker to, I think it was Chick-fil-A or something like that. I don't know. We were going to get food. And he was the one driving us. And he got, like, this small spurt of road rage. And he dropped the hard R on somebody as we were just driving by. I never got a chance to look in the vehicle to see what color this person's skin was. But either way, I was like, wow. I didn't realize that this dude, like, used those kinds of words in a context with people who 
Hey, maybe he felt like really, really close. Maybe he felt like super duper comfortable using those terms around me. I'm white, as can be plainly seen. And the other coworker in the car is, I believe, of some Asian descent. I want to say his family was Chinese or Korean, but I don't want to make any assumptions here. So, like, I don't know. It was, I will admit, at the very least, it was a little awkward and a little shocking. I was like, oh, this dude got a little angry. And, like, both of us, me and my other coworker, were just kind of like, oh. Because in that situation, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because I hear something like that and I think road rage. And when I think of road rage, all I can think of is the, st is the video that I was showed back in high school when I took my driver's education course. And in that course was uh, a video that they showed us about um, road rage. And so the story went something along like this. A person is driving along the highway, right? Just minding the road business. When somebody starts to tailgate them. Person begins to tailgate, and the per and the other person the, the other person begins to tailgate. So the person uh, who's in the car is like, "Well, this is kind of weird. Um, I don't know what to do about this, so we'll just keep on driving." So the person who was tailgating them continues to tailgate them for a couple of miles. Now at this point, they realize it's not a cop car, not a hidden cop, definitely not like a police car or anything like that. But they keep on going, and so at some point in time, the people who are driving are like, "Well, this person is following us for a while, so perhaps we should pull over." And so they pulled over. And so the person who was tailgating them straight up got out of the car, pulled a crossbow on these kids, and shot one of them in the leg. Because they pulled over to try to figure out what was going on. Now, when questioned afterwards, why the guy shot the crossbow, the old man, who was, it was an old, it was an old man who was tailgating the other folks, um, was like, well, those boys a little while back were tailgating me, so I returned the favor. And you don't, you don't drive like that. That's annoying. It's disrespectful. You don't offer disrespect like that. And if you do disrespect like that, then you had it coming. And this person, naturally, went to jail because they shot teenage boy. Uh, they shot some, I think, young adults in the leg with a crossbow, uh, which is not very cool to do. And so, naturally, my thought is, okay, if you're gonna shoot people on the leg, maybe you shouldn't be tailgating. So that's, long story short, that's why I don't tailgate people, because I think somebody very well, on the off chance, might come out of a vehicle and shoot me with a crossbow. <laughs> Wait, you're telling a real story. I am telling a real story. This was a real story that was showed to me and my other classmates during my driver's ed class. It was about don't aggressively drive, because if you aggressively drive, you could very well piss somebody off really badly. And that was, that was why, that was how I learned how to tailgate. How, <laughs> that's how I learned how to tailgate. Um, that's how I learned not to tailgate, or else potential dire consequences. Don't get me wrong, that is an irrational fear. There is no reasonable assumption that somebody is going to pull a crossbow on me because I was driving a little too close to them. Now, granted, I try not to tailgate. Uh, I try to stay as far away from cars as I possibly can. Although, often, I will drive safely uh, and farther away from the cars in front of me, so people who drive around me will often be like, um, this is annoying, so they'll tailgate me. But they tailgate me, all that means is I should speed up because I'm probably in the passing lane, I don't realize how fast I'm not going, or I should just move over, let the people pass you. That's the easiest way to go about doing it, I think. It de-escalates the situation. But yeah, real story. I don't know how to tell you this, but that dude had a lot more issues. Yeah, no, literally. So it was kind of like, it was presented in like a documentary type fashion where they take the person aside and they get their like personal accounts of how they felt at the, at the situation. And the dude was basically like, yeah, those kids were disrespectful, man. Like you don't, you don't do that. And honestly, I had every right to shoot those boys for what they were doing to me. That was not safe out there. And I was just defending myself. Meanwhile, everyone else was like, that's fucked up, dude. That is really, really fucked up. That person went to jail, naturally. Um, I don't remember whether the boy who got shot survived or not. Anyway, gun violence is a hot topic these days. Don't shoot people, please. Whether it's with a firearm or a crossbow. Which, come to think of it, if it doesn't use gunpowder, is it considered a firearm? I actually don't know the answer to that question. But I'm not entirely curious on it, so eh. But yeah, that person had a lot of issues. And oddly enough, on that topic too, I was driving back from 
Uh, what did I do over the weekend? I was driving. I went to go see my my aunt graduated from college the other, uh, um, recently. So we went to go see her, say hello, say hello to the family and whatnot. And we went up to New York. And so as we were driving back from New York, I shit you not, there was a person on the road. I was in the fast lane. I was going faster than the other cars. But there was this car who decided to start tailgating me. And so I think this is probably not an issue. Whatever. It's fine. So I move over. I let this person pass me. No problem. They get in front of me, and they slow down. And I'm like, okay. Well, if you're going to slow down, I'm going to get in the fast lane and pass you because I'm trying to move a little bit faster here. To which now, this other car comes up behind me and starts tailgating me again. Now, flashing their high beams at me. And I don't mean like a one, two here or there. This guy was flashing his high beam like consistently, like trying to get my attention or trying to piss me off. And I was like, I don't know what your deal is, so... If you didn't know this already, some rear view mirrors, there's a little like, like latch on it. And if you flick that latch, it'll like dull out bright lights behind you. So that's what I did. And I kept going on my merry way. And a little bit while later, they're still flashing their high beams at me. They're still tailgating me. I turn over again. I move the lane over. He gets in front of me and he stop. He gets in front of my car and begins slowing down to a stop. I tried to switch lanes to go around, he moved right in front of me. I tried to switch lanes again, he goes around in front of me. And I was like, what the heck is going on? And so I, I eventually turned off on an exit, I lost him, I called it in for aggressive driving, and I went on with my merry way. But I was like, I had these flashbacks. I had these flashbacks to that video of watching it during driver's ed class, and I was like, oh my god, I should not stop. Because if I stop, this person could very well have a crossbow on them, and I don't want to get myself hurt. Or Anna, who was also in the car with me. It was the weirdest experience. I've never had a driving situation like that, and it literally happened last week. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, so crossbows are not firearms, but still considered weapons. Legally, it can be, but it's not. And that sounds like an insurance scandal waiting to happen. Seriously, though, I got down the license plate number. I called up 911. I was like, hey, for the safety of everybody else on the road, I'd like to report the fact that there's an aggressive driver out there. They could be drunk. They were swerving on the road. They were, it, was, it was crazy. Um, and it wasn't even that late either. It was like 1130. So I don't know what bar they were coming back from, but that bar either closed really early or they had places to be. Dom's had multiple instances like that. I really hope no one ever has to go to those scenarios because that was freaky. That like genuinely freaked me out. Hooktail says, who dares approach me? I don't know, it's me. Hey buddy, what's up big old schnoz boy? I'm the big old schnoz boy. I'm a big red dragon, who knew? Hmm. So you're friends of the strange goblin who came earlier. I didn't expect a motor come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small. But don't be a tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. Well, I'll do a saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first! I don't recall equipping the cricket badge. I don't think I equipped the cricket badge. Equipped the cricket words. Snack time, little appetizers, but which one of your morsel shall taste first? I'm gonna take off for the night, says Dom, but wish you luck. Thank you, sir, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. I don't think I equipped the right hammer, anyways. Let's see. Oh, no, I did. I did, actually. <clears throat> that awful sound. <clears throat> Sounds like a cricket. How'd you know? Stop this. It's, stop that. This is disgusting. <clears throat> I've got a really bad food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I ate them. Oh, I'll fight it, hooky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Oh. Bro. I can still hear the folks stomping upstairs. Oh my god. I wonder if they're drunk. Who knows? Give me a sign. Just give me a sign, dude. Alright, hooky. Oh, don't defend yourself. No, just kidding. Alright, that's fine. Um, power hammer. It's the best thing we could possibly do. Go, power hammer! <laughs> Oh, I didn't get the stylish stylish. I thought it was gonna be good. 
In any case, mm, let's not gag, but for tummy, mm, so very woozy. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Alright, go get him. Uh, go get him. Doo doo starts with a K. Coops, that's your name. That's your name. It's Coops. Alright, don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, I didn't. was not able to avoid that properly. Alright, that's fine. How about a little bit of snack time? Snack time? Snack time feels good. I really love the ability that you get for completing this battle. I love the earthquake ability. That's what you get for this particular crystal star. I'm a big fan. I am a large industrial fan of that particular power-up. And large industrial fans go... <sighs> I'm a large industrial fan of that particular attack. And it's like Quake or something like that? I don't really know. Alright, buddy, go get him! It's time to bother a giant dragon with the power of indigestion. Or induced indigestion. I have some sounds that I feel that way towards. Oh, I was not able to... I'm trying to counterattack. I really am. I really am trying to counterattack. But it is not working. Alright. Power smash! Whack, whack, whack. I gotta go for the stylish. Oh, I missed it. I was really trying. I was really trying for the stylish moves. I think with the power one, you can do more stylish flips. Like, you can keep flipping and flipping and flipping. Nice. Excellent dodge there. Alright. Focus this time. What? No, I didn't even get one this time! I'm a failure. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold, hold a moment. I give up! Please, I, I, won't, I won't be so bad anymore. I promise. I, in fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, to prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, you fiend! What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? How about that? The lovely, rare, extra special badge I have. I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Act now, or lose this opportunity forever. Keep it. Ugh. Really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. They actually smell like cotton candy. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really, it's actually kind of messed up. But I'll let you do it for free. So, gonna take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? <laughs> Maybe just a quick sniff. That's disgusting! Mmm... You aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone you know. Uh, I guess I'd better... Do something crazy! Like eat the audience. Oh lord! I knew that was happening. He ate the audience. They're dying. That's just not... That's just not right. <laughs> now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. Alright, let's beat him up. We are by doing the only thing I know how to do. Swing my hammer, and use my boots. And be stylish in the process! The most stylish option ever, but there's no audience to be able to appreciate it! Why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a cricket? I don't know, bro. Just, just, just feel good, man. Think about the pleasant things. Think of evening cicadas that only come out like every 12 years or so. Those are the good things. Dodge! Oh, just kidding. That's fine. You seem weaker all of a sudden, Hooky. You little Hooky? You mind if I call you Hooky? A little old Hooky there? Yeah? Did your parents called you? What about your brothers? Gloomtail and Bonetail. Oh, you look dead. Damn good and stylish, too. But, but, I, I, how? Why, this is so much I wanted to do with my life! So many meals. Oh. Nice. And I still haven't leveled up yet. That is so unfortunate. Hooktail. Not difficult when equipped it with the right badges. Wow. We actually pulled it off, Mario. 
Nice. Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Oh. <sighs> Insert barfing effect here. Oh my goodness! It's my father! You're out! I'm finally out! Whoa, it... it... it can't be. Ah! The... Daddy! It's his father. Hey, you're... you're Coops! Hey, son. You've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I, I have, but... Oh, but... Who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been this ill time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me. Gobbled me down whole. Luckily, he has no digestive fluids in there. Quite seriously, he's made of paper. It would just all fall out. I've been hiding on my shelf for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. I don't need sustenance. I'm basically immortal. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad to finally get out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, I don't know. Don't you know how worried about you we all were? Can you believe that I'm blaming you for being trapped inside of a dragon for ten long years? Come on, Dad! You should have come home! For ten long years now, we thought you... You know... We thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but... I'm okay! That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which... What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc on the town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a jump called the Crystal Star. Oh! Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? It's my star! What's that? Thought I told you, it's a Crystal Star. Now, please, listen with your ears next time. I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Oh, me? Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Coops' friend. Please take it. Oh, yeah. All right. Crystal star number one obtained. Yeah. Da, 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 da. fanfare and you learn the special move earth tremor which is that one that i was talking about before which is like one of my favorite moves mostly because it's it's kind of i think it's pretty easy to do one chapter completed in the rpg role-playing game fantasy story of paper mario and the thousand year door mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating hooktail Coops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead, quite perished within the belly of Hooktail. Yet, they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Hmm. Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun, mostly because it's chapter number one. Seems obvious, right? There are multiple chapters, by the way. Save all game progress? No, never. Why would I ever save? Why would I ever not? Or just be silly at this point. Well, that was pleasant. Hooktail's defeated. Can't wait to see him again sometime. Maybe. Now we've got Princess Peach for the first time. Hey, Peach! You know, I once cosplayed as Princess Peach. I'll be so comfortable in this position. The position of voicing Peach. Oh, great exalted Grogness! We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Crackle, crackle. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, 
It's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We, x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Ellipses. Where is sir? I have news! Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, somebody nabbed it! What? What? Did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars. And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say. Speak! Soldier. Yes, sir! Uh, sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, uh, according to the report, uh, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overall who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> ha! Ha! I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I know all about him before long. That, I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir! And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand, she is not to be harmed. You got it, sir! X not. X marks the spot. The spot of my heart. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly unlikely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in Boggly Woods. Highly likely. To correct myself, you must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus. And with that, pow! I'm gone. Bye, dude. Bye, Brisky. Bye. I'm leaving. Bye-bye. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit... out there. Mm. x -nots? I summon you. What's up, dude? Hey, what's going on? You rang, dude? I mean, sir. You rang, sir. Gertis, dude. Gertis, sir. Gertis, sir. Dude, broski, broski, noski, broski, husky, booski. Shut up, you little bitch. Go get the shadow sirens over there. Over here. Bring them now. The shadow sirens, sir. But, but they, they, dude. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. Gotcha! I'm out of here! Peace! Mr. Paul Tracy, sir, indeed. Cam. Mr. Paul Tracy. He had an extra Corona light with a lime, bro. It was good. Dude, I had a cocktail that was all liquor, and I am feeling it, bro! But you should always remain hydrated. <coughs> and of course, by staying hydrated, you should pour water all over yourself. <coughs> <coughs> and choke on it, of course. Anyway. The honorable... <laughs> excuse me. The honorable Grotus has need of us, and we arrive without delay. Oh, just kidding. That was their voice. <laughs> ah, pray tell. Did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Beldam. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. <laughs> was it my fault, truly? There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of the truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map. Yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldam. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldam, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. We've got a job to do. Marilyn, Vivian, come. Let's go. Warp. <laughs> I 
You sneaky little fellows there, ain't they? Once upon a time, I used to play pretend. And I pretended that I was a shadow character. A character who could blend in the shadows at will from a whole other universe entirely. I think I was inspired for that particular character from the Shadow Sirens. Specifically Vivian. Because pink is an awesome color. Oh dear, here we go again. Well, I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again. But, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so... unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Time to go play as Peach! Sleep in the bed? No. Open this locker? Open that locker? Nope. Hmm, doesn't seem to open. I think one of my favorite parts of this game was imagine I was playing as Peach. Mostly because I was like, I like, I don't know. There was something about being able to play as Peach because I was like, oh my god, like, is this, a, is this another playable character? I love being able to play as other characters. And really, you didn't get to do that too much in this game. What I That's what I loved about Super Paper Mario, which was for the Wii, is that you could play as Bowser or Peach or Mario, and there might have been another person too. I don't exactly remember off the top of my head. Maybe, probably Luigi? Probably Luigi. But I love that. I love that aspect of that game. And at some point, I really want to play Super Paper Mario 2 because honestly, that I love that game so much that it very well rivals even this game. And I love this game a lot. But I think I like Super Paper Mario about the same. Maybe even a little bit more. I don't know. Anyway. What a lovely shower. No soap scum even. No soap scum even. Wow. I wonder if it works. Time to get naked! Time to disrobe on camera. Oh, there goes my controller. Da -de -da, da -de -da -de -da -de -da. It's showering. Ah! Ha -ha, he! Hoo -hoo. Sounds like making the shower. Turn off the water. You know? Between you and me, I get naked. Right around the corner. In the bathroom. Which is right behind my setup. Also... I love the fact that her hair is a ponytail now. Back when I played this game originally, I would have a ponytail. I did have a ponytail once upon a time. I used to wear my hair exclusively like that. It was disgusting. I'm glad I've evolved since then. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess entirely. Nice. All right, princess, do you need to go pee pee or something? No? Just shower? Can we shower again? I could if I wanted to. It was literally the only thing to click on. I had to. What was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. I guess I will casually meander through these doors here, as one tends to do when the door is open. When you come across an open door, do you open that door or do you close it and walk on? Life's all about open doors, or so they tell me. Weird. Well, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Maybe there's somebody around the corner. Click the button. Nope. It doesn't work. It does not. Somebody at the end of the hallway? I know who it is. It's the computer system. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. It's as if there's some technological entity that's keeping watch on me. Or like motion sensors, I guess. Maybe we got biometric face sensors. Nope, it's definitely a sentient computer. Beep bop bibbity boop. Oh. Hey, dude. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who? Who said that? Where? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Crotus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its, in its reason. Crotus? Wait. He's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. 
<laughs> are you saying that Princess Peach makes you feel hot under the technological collar? <clears throat> also, an un unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. <clears throat> Cause unknown, I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I let you hear. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Dude, that's kind of creepy. <gasps> Are you a stalker? Are you the stalker that I've been thinking about before? Could it be that you... No. Impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, uh, I, I couldn't really because I, it's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should be nothing, anything. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that, well, you're in love? With me? Love. What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? <laughs> Come on, dude. Have you never watched a rom-com? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but... My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, ellipses. I will you teach me to feel this thing you call love. What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I am perfect. The perfect ultimate life form. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. I am Super Saiyan. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called... Love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What are you, insane? You extrix kidnapped me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Why should I believe you? I understand you're angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now, but I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you is a witch, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard here? All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, 
Okay, tech, it's ready. Could you send it? <clears throat> beep bop, beep boop bop, email. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Okay. Bye now. Goodbye, lady. Uh. Oh, okay then. Good night. Peace, computer bro. Good night, Princess Peach. Until next time, I will be watching you. Observing. Always watching. Don't think that you can do anything without my watchful eye. Camera. Watching. You can't escape the truth. In any case, that was pleasant. Anyway, back to Scary Kingdom. Yes, Bowser exists in this game. Why wouldn't he? Duh. He's in all the Paper Mario games. It's Bowser time, baby! He's a scary dude, but... Honestly, a very admirable character. Dude, for the longest time, I loved playing Bowser in, like, Super Smash Brothers or being able to play him in any of the Mario sports games. <laughs> I was not expecting that that laugh to happen so quickly. Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! But now that I'm here, Kevin, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Why did you summon me, Cammy? Come on, Cammy. Cammy B. Oh, great, Lady Bowser. Uh, the, uh, crusty hag, Cammy Koopa, will arrive momentarily. I am really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. I am at the rear, phasing through the wall. <laughs> Greetings, your huffiness. The hag, Ken Koopa, will be arriving at any moment. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. How you boys doing? Uh, so the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. What a freaking creep, dude. Uh, you may want to pour the cork in it, man. Who? Uh, I, uh, I tell you the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing. <laughs> huh? Yeah, oh, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord Bowser, um. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. Nah, actually, please don't share. How about you in the corner? Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, tubby. <laughs> tubby. That's funny. Calling my minions tubby. Hell, Lord Bowser! Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. I'm going to take a hot guess and say if that's over here. I am at the rear of the hall. Oh, my buddy. Hey, dude. Nah, Lord Bowser. What's up there, Coop? Little, little cami Koopa dude. Ah, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Cammy Cooper. Now I'm with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. <coughs> it's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rougeport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh, come on, really. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T <laughs> treasure Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. They're literally made of crystal. Literally. Like 24 karat. It's crazy. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world conquering tools. I want them. Bring them to me. Hmm. Yes. Very good. Continue researching this for me. You brainy hag, you. I love you. But not as much as I love the princess. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? I love fried eggs. 
do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? During my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Pedro Nervous. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. It's funny because, you see, Koopas lay eggs in order to make babies, and so I thought perhaps maybe by the off chance we could cook up one of the youngins. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Your head! A picnic? You moron! There's no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because you claws always goofing off. Ah! Oh. No, dear, your Bowser, please come down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm. What's that? Ah! What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, ah, uh, terrible news, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach and Rogueboard. What? <laughs> Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who do such a thing? Besides me, I was keeping my watchful eye on her. Unless some technological monstrosity has been keeping their eye on it, their, her, person, me, not. I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however, the princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to report. No, I've got to kidnap her back. Out of my way, you old hag loon person. Oh dear, Bowser. Yeah, <laughs> here I go on my little spinning machine. Wow, that was so cool. Oh my goodness, that's a visual effect that glitched. <laughs> that actually looks hilarious. <laughs> that's not supposed to look like that. Mid your grunginess, wait up. Please allow me to step around the visual glitches currently happening and um, excuse me and i'm gonna just carefully make my way through and okay bye <laughs> that was really funny oh my god that's that's not correct that's hilarious honestly honestly there is a certain pleasure that i gain in playing these games uh, with emulated glitches and whatnot honestly i feel like it's actually all kind of part of the experience to see how my computer which apparently can't handle the game handles the game and i think it's all a part of the process if you came for pristine gameplay i'm sorry you're in the wrong place apparently that's that's really funny <laughs> Coops, my lad, are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Coops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Coops. And I am your father. Coops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Ahem! May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Ah, don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Oh, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. <laughs> so, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When and this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the book says. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door... So that means that location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map? Exactly. Come on, let's go. Absorb yourself into my overalls. Thank you. Thank you, dear Goombella. All right. Time to make our way back to the Port of Rogue, which is apparently not in that direction. I must go this way. 
Oh, actually, I can get that badge now, so let's get the badge. I don't think I ever use these little... These, like, uh... These octagonal-shaped badges. Increases attack power by five when your partner is in peril. My partner is in peril. But not when I'm in peril. What if I'm perpetually in peril? Oh, nice, a leaf. Oh, turtley leaf. Oh, no, no, I need that. I can use that for cook. Actually, I don't remember whether or not I can cook things yet. That was another one of my favorite things about this game in particular, is the fact that you can, like... You can cook things. You can combine recipes together. And there's a function like that in Super Paper Mario, too, which I absolutely loved. Um, but I need to unlock it first, so... Oh, might as well save, lest I completely screw things up again, as I often do sometimes. And with the game emulating like that, it can crash, and sometimes it will. But honestly, I think it's just a part of the process. So, my plan for the rest of the evening, by the way, to keep everybody informed, is I'll get to the end of the chapter, and then after we finish with that, once we start chapter two, that's where I'll end for the evening. That'll probably take a little hot second, so we got a little bit of time left. Uh, something's wrong, Mario. You're, um, shaking. Are you feeling all right? Just an email. <laughs> it's just... It's just another email. That's a new mailbox SP, isn't it? Wow, neat. Did you get some mail? It kind of looks like a Game Boy SP, but ugh, what do I know about video games? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place, as usual. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it's not anything positive. Mario, please collect these Crystal Stars before they do. You must! They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me. Princess Peach. Wow, you got bail from a princess. That's so cool. So, anyway, she's unhurt. That's good, at least. Oh but I didn't like the sound of those kidnappers looking for the Crystal Stars as well. Nah, nobody likes the sound of the Crystal Stars being stolen or kidnappers and stuff. That's terrible. Why would you be okay with kidnappers? Disrespectful. We don't like that. Hello, Gooms. Oh, you were... There's a lot of you here. I will use my powerful jump ability to jump on this bad boy and kill you. And then I'll kind of... I'll send my shell attack after you. Nighty night, dearest. Have a wonderful evening, my love. Stylish? Excellent, and stylish. Got a couple of coins there, too. How many more do I need? I need two more for a level up. Easy. I'll get this guy. We'll level up. We'll get to the next chapter. It'll be awesome. You're gonna love it. I mean, I say you're gonna love it. You might not love it. You don't have to love it. This is this is just what we do around here. Ooh. One more level up for us. Closer and closer to the end of the evening. I, do, I think I should probably do flower points this time, because I kind of had a low point on flower points this time around. I think I'll probably be going for an even spread. I'll try to do one of each every three levels. Or at least that'll try to be the plan. That's what I anticipated it'll be. Eh, I don't feel like dealing with you right now. Oh, who else? You! You little scrub. I'm actually kind of looking forward to the end of the evening because what I'll, uh, tomorrow actually, I get to work remotely. I, I say I'm looking forward to it because I work remotely in the morning, but to be honest, it's not actually that pleasant. The reason why I'm working remotely is because we have a little bit of a pest problem currently. We've seen a couple of mice around the apartment, and we, there were some flies that come around as well. And I swear I clean up the place, but honestly, I'm gonna have a professional come in and look at it, because I don't... I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. And so naturally, when they come over at 10 o'clock, Anna's got a final then, so... I'll just kind of hang around a little bit. I brought enough stuff from work to keep me busy. Or, uh, I think I'll probably do my render as I usually do with the videos in the morning. It's fun. It's not, honestly, it's nice to have the opportunity to do things in the morning. One of the things that, like, I'm not super good at is keeping my, I, I like to keep myself busy. However, I often don't keep myself busy enough in the morning. Like, I'll wake up and I'll just be groggy and whatnot. And I don't, I don't like to feel that way. Oh, shit. Whoops. I like to be able to keep myself busy for the most part. Not in like a, not in like a stressful kind of way, but I like to keep myself doing things and accomplishing my goals. Because, like, 
if I am keeping myself busy on the things that I'm attempting to accomplish, then I will eventually accomplish them. Like, for example, like being able to have a little extra time in the morning to, let's say, work on some cosplay embroidery. I love doing that. It's very nice. Actually, speaking of which, and I didn't showcase this earlier, but I actually finished the crest that I was embroidering for our next cosplay. This is, whoa. This is what it looks like on the big screen. And eventually Anna will put this on a little jacket. I think it looks pretty good. And I'm currently working on a second one as well. Because we need two. Because there are two Hitachi twins in Oron High School Host Club. And naturally, we gotta have some for the both of them. Now I don't think... I don't think I can go this direction yet. I think I need Bomb Boy, right? Do I need Bomb Boy? I do need Bomb Boy. However... I didn't actually go in here. This is one of the shops, right? No? Who are you again? Ah, welcome, Rario. I am Mayor Lovely, Mayor Lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Ha! So, shall I see something for you? Uh, nah, that's fine. Aha, is that so? Well, if there's any anything you want to find, just ask. Uh, give me purpose. Please, I yearn for purpose. Maybe. Hey, dude, I forget what you say. My name's Dazzle. I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, you have any star pieces? I'll trade you for my badges for them. Yeah, come on, let's trade. I'll do it. All right, which badge do you want to trade for? Um, oh, I got six. Six star pieces. Let's see. Change the sound effects of Mario's attack. Never succumb to a first strike. Never. Pretty lucky when Mario's attacked. Causes enemies to sometimes miss. Happy flower. Happy heart. Happy part P. Item hog. Make it likely that items will appear. Heart finder. Peekaboo flower finder. Quick change. Allow your ally to attack even after changing partners. That would seem advantageous. Flower saver. Drop FP used when your partner attacks by one. The Mario attacks. Power plus. Boot your partner's attack. I'm going to save up. For the big ones. What? You changed your mind? So lame! Get out of here! Leave me be. If you're not gonna buy my badges, I want nothing to do with you. you little scramp. Don't like you. Walk away. That's right. Hate to see you love. Leave. I'd love to see you walk away. Or so they say. Alright, Crystal Star. Star door, bar boy. No, don't go back in the pipe. Ah! You little sloop. Oh well, that's okay. It only causes a slight amount of delay. Even with turning the uh, anti-aliasing off. Which, kind of think of it, probably doesn't cause that much of a crazy effect, honestly. Alright, anything in here? Anything at all? Anything at all? How about something over here? Show me the way! This actually might be the way towards Bobby Woods. Nope, okay. Oh no, I can't do that until I have Vivian when I can suck myself into the ground. That's not an ability I yet have. I have to wait till we get to the Twilight Town or something like that. I don't remember what the place is called, but it seems cool. Bounce, bounce. Oh, okay. No, that didn't work either. I can't hit that thing. Oh, okay, so I need to kind of travel around a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just silly. I have to go into the pipe. Then I can upgrade my hammer at some point and break the big giant box. Breaking the big giant box will give us, I don't know, something. That's the way to Boggly Woods, but I'm not yet interested in it. And if I had Mick Flurry, I could blow down that wall there. But I don't yet have Flurry Man. Not yet. I'll get it eventually. I was actually doing a little bit of research on some more of the characters and whatnot, and I know what all the characters are. I've played for this game before, but the um, the the mod pack that I found for this game, uh, called I think Hero Mode or something like that, actually has like I think it brings characters from other games as well. So I was kind of refamiliarizing myself with all the different characters in Paper Mario. Also, I kind of gave myself a whole like rundown on like all the different Paper Mario games that are out currently. And there's like there's like the Origami King and. There is more, I guess. I don't know. One of the ones that really piqued my interest was um, Paper Jam, which is the Super Mario... It's the Mario & Luigi series. The Mario & Luigi RPG series combined with Paper Mario. And that's something I definitely want, definitely want to play at some point as well. There's a lot of Mario games that are on my plate to be able to play. And I'll try to only play one at once because, like... I don't want to oversaturate myself with Super Mario all the time, but I want to play, like, the Super Mario RPG games 
And I don't, I don't necessarily, I, I want to play Super Mario RPG, like the original, but also like the Mario and Luigi ones as well. It sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. Also, Mario and Nintendo hold a special place in my heart, honestly. I look forward to it. Um, all right, Mario, hold up that crystal star. Ah! Go for it. And what do we see? It's the blue lights on the ground as usual. But is it anything any different than it was before? I don't think so. I think... What is the next star? Is the next star the... Copper one? The bronze star? Topaz or something? I think it's the brown one. I want to say the brown one's next. But I don't know for sure. That's my guess. My guess is the brown one. And I don't remember where we go next, honestly. Oh, it's got- it's Boggly Woods. It's the green one, actually. I think the green one is in Boggly Woods, right? Yeah, okay, it's the green one. I think I remember based on the locations. I know the Glitz Pit, I think, has the yellow one. Um, the Twilight area, I'm pretty sure, has the red one, I think? No, 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 no. The Pirate area has the red one. I don't remember the other ones. Maybe it's a purple one or a blue one. Maybe it's the blue one in the Pirate area. Eh, whatever. The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. And it's in Bogby Woods, which is literally right around the corner. Uh, hey, uh, Mario, look there. Uh, the next crystal star showed up on the map. But, I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. It's Bogby oh. Woods, dude. Don't worry about it. Um, I think maybe we should take it to the Professor Frankly and let him take a look at it. To the Professor's Lab! To the Professor's Lab? I see! I see! Crystal clear! Um, so can you tell us what the next crystal star is or not? It's in Bogley Woods! The second crystal star is inside a great tree there! A great tree... A, a great tree of Bogley Woods, huh? About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If my memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Uh, Professor Frankly, you should probably know about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh! Well, if Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ah! Too many unknowns! Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are crystal stars in that map. Okay. Uh, so all we, I guess all we could do is hit the bodily woods to find that next crystal star. Ouch. I jammed my knee. No, elbow. <laughs> yes, I recommend you do just that and before it bef and find it before the princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or help, drop by the shop and eat first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. Thanks, dude. Also, I am already aware of the puzzles in Bogley Woods, so in the top right corner of the screen is the star, the moon, the puny, and the star. The star star, not the sun star. And that is what we have to remember when we go to Bogley Woods, because there's like a secret or something like that, so I'm gonna take a picture of it. There we go. Now I know. Also, let's go in the trash and find a garbage can with info about red bones. That's the thing. Being that you can't fight the enemies like Red Bones and Hooktail again, you can get their tattle information by looking in Professor Frankly's garbage pail. It has been transferred to your tattle log. You found a scrap of paper in the garbage can with the info about Hooktail. It has been transferred. And now there's nothing left because I got them all already. I love that. That's the thing. I don't need to worry myself about the tattle much too much. The, the tattle stuff too much because eventually we'll find it. Yo, Luigi! What's up? Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, what a coinky dink. Eh? Who, me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene. All right, she's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Absolutely, Luigi. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? The Waffle Kingdom. Well, like I said, 
It's a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh, what is that letter? What does the letter say? Sirs, my name is Crane. I'm a cabinet minister in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took out Princess Eclair. I asked Ned, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crane. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh, no. First, I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking. Uh, then I left. Uh, once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate him. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? My own adventure! Each part of the marvelous compass was set to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass the way spoken in a waffler tale, fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me towards Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogue Port for a Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably going to be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue the princess. Oh. Excellent, Luigi. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Luigi, I appreciate you and your stories. Also, I think it's time to upgrade some partners while I'm at it. Welcome to the home of Merlon, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Coops. I love my boy Coops. Shall I power up this partner? Yes! Thanks, dude. Shazipi! And away hey, hey, we go! Shazubi! Let's spin around a little, do a little spin around. You spin me right round, partner, right round, like a regular baby, right round, round, round. You spin me. You spun me, actually. It's past tense now, I guess. <laughs> then you may go. Nice job, Coops, dude. Nice job, man. Now you're powered up and special and awesome. And also, now that I can go thin, I can go back here. So I'm going to do that and head back here and say hello to everybody in the back. Because of the significant decrease in FPS, because I haven't figured out my graphics settings, it's taking a hot minute, but we're fine. I can't boat yet. Uh, I can't jump up there. I don't have my super jump yet. Uh, but I can go through this door and see what's going on. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. Can I have some pie? Pie, please? Can I have pie? Pie? No? Okay, that's fine. No pie for me, then. How about you? Why do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no beating? You literally beat the shit out of me in Act 1. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're like... But I was the one who won. You were the one who lost. You're the one going where? Hey, what do you want, chump? You ain't got no business here. Then beat it. This is where I live, chump. Unless you gotta see me for something, you need to leave. This is where I live. Fine, I'm out of here then. I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say to you. What about you though? If you've come all the way here, you must have seen some serious dangerous action. That's good. Danger's good. Believe me, I know. Danger's freaking awesome, dude. I love living on the edge. Chill, dude. Chill, mouse, dude. It's gonna be okay. Alright, now I gotta make my way towards... I, guess Bog... I talked to Professor Frankly. I think I need to go to Bogley Woods now. I think that's how the next chapter starts. Maybe. Potentially. I will make my way towards Bogley Woods. And hopefully, if by the time I get into Bogley Woods, we are not at Chapter 2 yet, I'll probably end things there. But now that I've... Oh, oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I want to see... I want to see what's on the back of here. 
Graffiti Corner. While looking for badges in Hooktail's castle, I ran into a spiffy mustache fellow. The heart stealing thief. It's Miss Mouse. That's who it is. Hey, dude. Eh, eh, oh, I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You got a, you got the fever look of a man with a mind for goods. You want to try something? I want nothing. What? No more shopping. Sorry to hear that, my man. This is a limited time offer. I change the goods I offer from time to time, so come back real soon, all right? All right, dude. I need to find. I don't remember how to get another contact once for you, unfortunately, girl. I'm sorry. I'll take care of that another time when I'm back in Rogueport. In the meantime, it is time to return back to the sewers. Maybe. Maybe there's a contact, contact lens down there somewhere. I have a feeling- maybe you buy it from somebody. I'm trying to remember where you get the contact lens from. I got a feeling that you buy it from somebody. But I don't remember where. Oh well. Anyway, time to proceed to bra- Bleh! Boggly Woods! I know I was mentioning before where, like, there were definitely some puzzles that I found in this game that kind of confused me at a young age that I honestly looked up the answers for. And I want to say that the, the secret code in the Bos Bogley tree, the one that was in Professor Frankly's lab, was one of those things that I looked up as a child because I was like, I have literally have no idea what to do here. Oh, look, there he goes. Hey, Mario. You see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly mentioned. Yeah. It's a puny. Because it's tiny. And puny. That's the implication here. Ah! Run away! Can't go in there just yet. I have to run. Gotta build things up. Hey, dude. Eek! D don't, don't eat me! Please! Huh? Ah! You, you didn't come to eat me! No, I didn't. And, and you're not bullies! <laughs> Guess again, nerd! No! Leave me alone, you big meaties! Uh, Mario, that was uncool, man. Don't say stuff like that. I thought you were... nicer. Relax, relax, little guy. We're not bullies, I swear. For real? Phew! Boy, that's... that's good. I thought... I thought for a second I might have an accident. <laughs> um, aren't you one of the creatures from Bogley Woods? Why are you down here? What? What do you know about me? No, 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 you must be! You guys are working for those X-Nuts, aren't you? You chased me here! No, it's the end! X-Nuts? What the heck are yours? It sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. X-Nuts. <laughs> Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves X-Nuts came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, now come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys of the great tree. If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the crystal star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about those some crystal star thingy. But we cuties don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... What was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, we'll, we'll have the Pewdie Elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but it'll help us reclaim our tree. I'm sure the Elder will agree. So, what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Ho oh. <laughs> ho, what are you doing? Billy, you aren't joking? He'll do that. Um, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we need to get the Crystal Stars before those X guys do. No, oh, thank you so much! This is great! I'm so happy! My name is Punia. Pleasure to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? Onward! To the Bogley Tree! It's this way. Doki doki! Say no more! I'll follow you to the ends of the earth there, little puny. Um, bro? Bro. Wait, up! Uh, hang on a second! I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here. Open the secret entrance. Aha! Click! Nice. And if I go up here and then go the other direction... A badge! There it is. Nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okie doke. Onward, then. 
And now, I love. I always love to, in this game, the pipes to different areas all look d aesthetically different. I love that. I love that part of this. Excuse me. You can get to Barkley Wood. <clears throat> you can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. Let's go. Onward into the pipe to the boggly woods. And so begins chapter two, I'm inclined to think. And then we'll get ourselves to our next save point, and that'll be it. Chapter two, the great boggly tree. It's a tree that's boggly. Boggles my mind, darn it. It really do. And here comes Boggly Woods. Also love the aesthetic of this area. Although I will say, every single outcropping looks like an artichoke or asparagus. It really does. So, the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. <clears throat> what are we running to next? Um, okay. Just a bit further, and I... And we should be able to get to see the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. And my little sister, too. Come on, let's go! We will go, Punio. But we'll go next time on another exciting episode of Camera with an X, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I keep saying that, to be perfectly honest. It's not a good closing. But in any case, to everybody who's out there tonight and who joined along, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that your evening treats you well. This has been fun so far. Wonderful cocktail. Wonderful company. Wonderful everybody. Just a bit of a reminder, the end of the end of the day thing. I mentioned it during the cocktail part as well, but there will be no Wednesday stream next week. There will be no playthrough. So we'll pick up on Hollow Knight, which is our next playthrough, two weeks from now. We'll be a little off schedule, so in case you were keeping yourself to the whole oscillating thing, it, it's changing a little bit because my youngest brother is graduating from high school and I just got to attend. I don't know whether or not there will be any other stream plans next week because there's no Monday one planned either, but I'm thinking about it. I really want to, so I'm going to try to figure something out. But until then, peace out to everybody, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. If it's the evening where you are, the morning if it's the morning where you are, if the sun shines, greet it for me and say hello because the moon has risen over here and the sun is nowhere to be found until tomorrow morning. And until next time, everybody, thank you so much once again for watching and coming along. The party continues next time, y'all. Until then, bye.